there. <laughs> oh, wow. That's lovely as always. This part's fine. But right at the beginning, that was... Alright then. <laughs> yes, it, it's very magnificent. <laughs> Why do people play these games on purpose? <laughs> Willingly. No, I did not oversleep. <laughs> there was uh, some construction going on, the timing of which I did not agree with. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Widion is a lonely lad of 17 who has lived for as long as he can remember with an evil and cruel wizard by the name of Manan. Um, he gazes upon the countryside, Longingly wishing free to leave. Um, okay. He treats the poor boy like a slave, ordering him about, constantly threatening him, and refusing to ever, uh, to ever let him leave the premises. Often he wonders, whatever that was. All right. Suddenly the front door opens. <laughs> Reading speed. Oh. <laughs> He rushes to his side, afraid he may be in trouble. Why are you not working, boy? The wizard sneers. He mumbles a faint reply. The kitchen floor is filthy. Go sweep it now. Turning on his heel, the wizard re-enters the house, slamming the door behind him. Alright. <laughs> he sounds lovely. So it does seem like Graham won't be part of this game. Such is the, such is the story of young Boydin's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well, in resignation, he obediently follows the wizard into the house. All right. Can't see any kings yet. And, well, uh, construction, um, uh, connecting a light. It wasn't anything that urgent, but. Well. Is going to redo the entire introduction scene? Linda Bai. That, that's a great name. And still lovely music. Okay. Is this the same scene again? Yep. Yep, it is. Alright. Thanks to the host. So, um, uh, yeah, he's not free to leave. And I think I may just call him the boy and the wizard the wizard, at least some of the time, because, well, <laughs> they just purposely gave them silly names, didn't they? So, either way, they have lovely chickens, so that's great. All right, so I think it was about Cleaning the kitchen. Yes, kitchen floor. Because I'm guessing that might be relevant. So, I actually have control. That's great. Okay, there. Alright, I made it out of the loop. That's great. And first save game. There we go. 
It's almost like I wasn't like 40 minutes late. <laughs> well, 30. Still. I haven't looked around in the main room. I'll go and do that. This is the main entry room of the wizard's house. The front door is to the south. Freaky stairs go upstairs and a doorway leads north and east. Yes, I'm sure this game has so many different ways to die. Is that a cat? I think that's a cat. I think this is the first Sierra game that had a cat so far. The wizard is very private with his study and doesn't like you poking around. The huge oak desk is covered with his writing implements. No cabinet is in the corner. There's a chart on the rear wall. Bookshelves are filled with books on every subject. The wizard fancies himself to be quite a scholar. Well, that's nice, I guess. Thanks for follow. This is where the wizard eats his meals. You, of course, are not supposed to eat here. You eat in the kitchen. There is a pine table and benches large enough to seat at least 10 people, but the wizard has never had any guests for dinner. All right. Oh. Maybe he just likes being able to choose where to sit at his own table. It's a bit weird to have a giant bench, but never enough people to just fill even half of it. This is the kitchen of the wizard's house. Other than your bed chamber, this is the only place in the house that you feel you can call your own. The wizard rarely enters the kitchen. On cold days, the fireplace is a cozy place to sit. Wait, is that another cat or is that the same one? cat following me. I think it might be. If I walk over here. Yep. <laughs> so either the wizard has like 50 black cats. Oh, nope. It disappeared. So maybe it is just one cat, but it teleports around. As a magical cat would. Okay, now it's just completely gone. All right. Bye bye, cat. So. I don't recognize most of these. Yes, exactly. Cats usually teleport. That's just what they do. So we've got a giant fireplace. We've got a barrel which may or may not contain water and another one containing something. We've got plenty of shelves. Is that one of those things they used to make butter? I don't know. And apparently a giant mushroom on the ceiling. And then there's a table that seems to have a bunch of food on it already. I'm glad there's a timer at the top of the screen. That is very reassuring. <laughs> oh, he's back. Boy, you're assigned a chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. The wizard shakes his hand and it hits his head in disgust. The kitchen is still dirty. When you, you learn to obey. Up goes the dreaded finger. Uh-oh. Perhaps you'll like a closer view of the ground, boy, says the wizard. Wait, that's not the kitchen. Suddenly you feel squishy and slimy, with an awful weight on your back. Your tentacled eyes? Oh, is he a snail? Oh, fine. Your tentacled eyes swivel around to see your shell. Oh no, he's turned you into a snail. Right. 
That's not gonna help the cleanliness of the kitchen floor, but all right. <laughs> well, at least I'll have plenty of time to look around while walking. <laughs> Ick, you're slimy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I saved. Because that way I can go back to the start of the game anytime. Because I do like having the option to look around. I'll see if I can go up the stairs as a snail. I mean, I'd say there shouldn't be a problem. Well, yes, the stairs may be bigger than snail boy here. Uh, snails are rather good at climbing up vertical spots. Like, they can climb up plants and stuff. So, and he's back. Of course he is. You are to be in this room without my express permission, the wizard says gruffly. Go find something to do. Your kitchen is filthy, go clean it now. You look at the wizard's elegant bedchamber. You see fine furnishings from a regal bed to a beautifully carved closet. You can't help but compare this handsome room to your meager cubicle. I'm leaving, everything's fine. That testable pet of the wizards is a constant annoyance. All right, so it is a wizard's cat. I kind of figured. Well, that room looks less fancy. You see nothing special. Aw. Oh, whoopsies. Look around, not look at cat. This is your own pitiful bedchamber. Compared to the wizard's fine room, yours is almost a cell. The bed is hard and uncomfortable with only a threadbare blanket and a small flat pillow. The other furnishings are junk. But as poor as it is, it's your own heaven, haven, haven, as the wizard never enters it. Yeah, I can imagine you wouldn't. Yeah, the cat seems cute. I mean, yes, it teleports around, but... I mean, what's wrong with a black cat? I mean... As long as... You don't... Trip over it at night, it should be fine. You have entered the musty tower of the old wizard's house. A polished brass telescope is directed out a window. From here, the wizard spies upon the poor occupants of the town. Great, and the cat is in the way. Is the cat trying to drop me up here? All right, I'll just look around this room and then go downstairs again. This hallway is on the second level of the old wizard's house. There are two stairs here. One goes up and the other leads down. An open doorways to the north. Okay. Wait, does the other part of the hallway have a different description? Because it did not mention this part at all. You've always admired this lovely tapestry. It's a, it, it adds one of the few bright spots to the dreary house. Right. So. Time to clean the kitchen, I guess. Okay. Same description. So, staircase is officially part of the entryway. Oh, 
and I keep getting stuck on it. Great. So, <laughs> where is that kitchen? Good thing I can't lose any points from being turned into a snail, because I never had any points. Clean floor. Um, is this a mop? That might be. Dang it! <sighs> Leave me alone! Oh, you were assigned chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. Kitchen is still dirty. When will you learn to obey? Is he gonna turn me into a snail again and teleport me upstairs again? <sighs> the wizard leers. Like a bad little boy, you need to spend some time in your room. Great. Suddenly find yourself in your little room. You notice that the door is closed. Great. Twist the doorknob. The bedroom door. But you, to your frustration, you find it locked. Yes, it's a very grumpy wizard. He's not very nice. So, yeah, I'm trying to do them. I was typing out to look at the wall to see if that's a mop or not. Or like a broom, I don't know. So, yeah, I am trying. You have nothing of any interest in your dresser drawer. Fine. Your dresser is a piece of junk. It's full of nicks and scratches, and one drawer is completely missing. Great! I was trying! <laughs> You hear a click at the bedroom door. The old wizard has decided to free you by magically unlocking your door. Great! <laughs> well, I mean, how would I not play video games while playing this game? <laughs> I've decided to take a journey, okay? Great. Have fun. I hope you don't come back anytime soon. Because so far I have not had time to actually complete the chores. <laughs> so, back to trying to look if that's a mop, or it might also just be a shovel or something like that. There's an iron rack hanging on the wall by the fireplace. Your trusty knife is hanging on the rack. Wooden serving spoon is hanging on the rack. And that's it. Okay. Just as it appears. All right. Well, I mean that's a bucket. So should be a start. There's no reason to take it. Fine. I'll just hope it's a broom. All right, it is. There. Just moving the dirt around. That's a very small part of the kitchen so far. Not sure if he's going to do the rest. Yes, the cat was moving. It's a very fancy cat. Really, that's all you're gonna do? <laughs> 
That's like a quarter of the kitchen, maybe. Yeah, I can't actually control them. But yes, that's exactly what you'd expect from a game like this. Wow, he's doing a different part now. <laughs> I'm impressed. Don't know if I'm going to have to have him use the broom four times to get all of the kitchen done. I guess I might. We'll see. Okay. Yep, yep. Seems like it. So. <laughs> I mean, sweeping simulator. <laughs> They didn't appreciate sweeping the kitchen. Well, I mean, can somehow imagine that, yes? So, did I do the other half in one go? Or am I missing part of it? Yeah, I think I'm missing part of it. So, this should hopefully take care of that. All right. So, that's done. Can I just walk out the front door? <laughs> and if so, is there going to be something that's gonna end up killing me? Open the front door of the house and go outside. Oh, whoopsies. The lone mountain rises from the forests of this place to this cloud encircled peak. Here is the somber house of the wizard where you and he reside. And here's the chickens. A couple of chickens strut about their chicken coop. All chickens do, they peck, scratch, and cluck. Poor things, they will end up as old wizard's dinner one day. There is a bag of chicken feed behind the fence beside the chicken coop. Okay. Maybe I can feed the chickens. Oh, do I? <laughs> you only need the chicken feed if you want to feed the chickens. Oh, good point. Guess I don't want to feed the chickens. Or can I just type feed chickens? Not reaching from here. Keep the door. Your arms are long enough to reach it from here. <laughs> Alright. Apparently his arms are not long enough at 17 to open the door to the chicken coop. Well, standing in front of the chicken coop. Or maybe open gate. Great. Yep. Okay. I guess not. So, I think the kitchen should be done. Nope. 
That staircase every time. I mean, since he is currently not home, shouldn't be able to do anything about me being in his bedroom, right? I mean, the cat might tell on him. Wow, a mirror! Wow, uh, that's fancy. I mean, considering these games, that's a pretty fancy feature. And how do I play them? I play them on Steam. So, well, I download them from Steam and they're using DOSBox. So. Open dresser. Quietly opening the drawer below the closet, you discover nothing that interests you. Great. Closet is fashioned of ornately carved mahogany. Great. Uh, look in closet. See voluminous velvet robes, satin slippers, peak tats, and soft linen gowns. Thanks for follow. So, close closet. Thanks for follow. Let's see. Bang the drawer against your shins repeatedly. Try backing up. <laughs> Fine. All right. You find balls and trinkets which do not interest you. Suddenly your eye falls on something that does. A vial labeled rose petal essence, which you eagerly take. Okay. Um, can I open these doors? Maybe. Vanity drawer. In the vanity drawer are many uninteresting items, although the wizard's hand mirror may come in handy. You grab it, then close the drawer. Okay. Great. Um... It's a very pretty bed. I personally think it's a bit extreme on the color scheme, but I mean, if he wants to have a bright pink bed, then more power to him. It doesn't look very relaxing though. So, can I just walk away from this place? Yes, I can. Oh, that's interesting. Is this a beanstalk? This may be a new beanstalk. All right. So, <laughs> saving in case I die over and over, which I may be doing very soon. Where am I walking? <laughs> uh, no, I personally do not really like the color pink. Are these stuck? Oh, okay. Yep, 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 it's a beanstalk. I figured. <sighs> <laughs> mm. 
Yep. Now I'm just being sloppy. Yeah, you could say so. And that did not make sense physically, but of course he fell down. <laughs> I made it so far the first time. Beginner's look. All right, so, and I walked off a cliff. <laughs> well, <laughs> the title is definitely more fitting than I expected it to be. Didn't expect to be falling off cliffs this early and this frequently. I mean, I'm only like 20 minutes into the game. I'm already falling off cliffs left, right, and center. Yep. I should probably do a save somewhere in the middle. I just really want to manage to do it all in one go. I almost had it the first time round. <laughs> and I keep pressing buttons that aren't actually numbers. Oh well. No matter how much of these games, well, how many of these games I've played, the numpad always just feels like a weird way to control a character. was needlessly difficult. Yes, I do have arrow keys, but the thing is, uh, I also have to walk diagonally for most of these, because otherwise it oh, gets even clunkier. There, that's just using the arrow keys. And in some cases, it's practically impossible to control them like that. Especially on stairs and stuff, it's very difficult. <laughs> but usually I just use the arrow keys. So, I made it down the giant mountain. There's a store, a tavern, what looks like it might be a fishing net on a pile of gravel. <laughs> but yes, this is arrow keys only. All right, I'll, nope, that is the wrong key to press. There. Oh. I do not think he's necessarily old enough to be in here. One of the sourly looking characters yells at the barmaid, Why don't you come over here with more ale? All right. Well, I'll just leave them to it and check out the store. Yeah, that's 
sure something great to learn in a game. Good day to you, man. Greets the storekeeper. What can I do for you? Is that a dog? It, it looks somewhat alive, I guess. It's not moving. And, well, it just looks like it's possibly not fully alive. So we've got a tavern, a store, can I walk back there? Apparently not. And I walk back to where I came from. Oh great! This looks familiar! <laughs> okay, I'm guessing I can't really get past the tiny river. I mean, you should be able to step over it, but odds are he's just going to drown if he tries. So, is that a giant cave in the back? It might be. What's over on this side? Of course. I mean, sure, it could be a guard dog, but, well, just looked, well, he seemed very exhausted. <laughs> yes, there's absolutely no problem with dying in King's Quest games. Most hideous looking being made its appearance. It's Medusa. Your eyes fall upon a face so hideous, so gruesome that the horror of it is beyond description. People will look upon the face of Medusa with her hair of writhing live snakes turn instantly to stone. Suddenly, your body feels cold and stiffens hard as rock. Make a nice statue. Well, at least, now I know what the mirror is for. Because it's that. It's not quite a fairy tale, but I did pay attention when we learned about mythology in school. <laughs> Is that a giant bridge in the background there? Oh, seems like there might be a spider. That's exciting. But where is he? <laughs> there. Yeah, I'm sure it's not dangerous at all. What happens if I just walk straight into the spider's web? As you touch the sticky web, a giant spider drops down from a lair in the tree above. You attempt to escape, but her sticky web holds you fast. Well, apparently it's a human eating spider. That's not how spiders eat things. I do not agree with that. <laughs> and that that's it. Alright. Right. <laughs> I don't know how it fit him in there. I'd say he's bigger than the spider. And usually spiders don't eat like that. Never seen a spider eat like that. I don't know if there's any kind of spider that eats like that. Last time I checked, they all prefer the, uh, liquefying their prey from the inside and then, uh, drinking 
pray slurpy version. So, yeah. They would not do it like that. What if I try and walk over this tiny river? All right. I managed. I got the feather. You see two pretty birds looking at you. Oh, right. There's quite a few birds out here, actually. But yeah, sure, being liquefied doesn't sound like the most pleasant thing, but, well, <laughs> I'd say getting eaten alive generally doesn't sound that great, and that's just a very common way to die in the animal kin kingdom, so, yeah. It's a pretty gruesome place in general. <laughs> Are those acorns? There's nothing of interest here, just some acorns. Okay. You pick and poke among the fallen acorns, looking for dried ones. You eventually find three dried acorns and take them with you. Great. So I've got uh, some rose petal, rose essence, okay. Wait, why do they have stars? I'm confused. Why is there a star after each one? All right. So I've got rose essence, I've got a mirror, I've got acorns, and I've got an eagle feather. The mirror is definitely going to be for Medusa because, well, you can't look directly at her, but you can look at her through a mirror. And I'm not sure if she turns to stone if she sees her own face in a mirror. I don't remember. I don't think that's how it works. I think in. Oh, these two are certainly unsavory rogues. They look like they'd rub you blind. And I'm leaving. Mama Bear growls at you as you near the flower bed. Better stay away from it. All right. Is this the Goldilocks house? It might be. Yeah, if I remember correctly, in the uh, actual myth, they um, use like a helmet or something, or a shield, and use that reflection, not a proper mirror for Medusa. But it's still the same idea. Can't really defeat something you can't see. So, all right, then here it just ends. Right?
I'm guessing he can't just swim from there, so... I'll find out for science. Um... The water looks inviting, but be careful if you go out there. I don't think I had to type for him to swim. What if I swim further out? I mean, I did save, so... It's gonna be fine. Yes, I know. It's impressive. Somehow he was never allowed to leave the house, but he can swim. Yes, it, it's fine. Everything's fine. He's not gonna drown. Totally not. <laughs> so... <laughs> He's doing pretty well so far. All right. I'll turn up the speed, I guess. Fine. <laughs> there. You've reached the limits of your strength. You panic and start to struggle hopelessly. Great. And we're dead. All right. He can swim for quite a while. I mean, I guess maybe Graham was, well, never was good at swimming or something. Or maybe it was because, because he was carrying so much jewelry. It's also possible. I mean, gold is heavy. All right. So, strolling along the beach. Nothing to see here yet. Can I walk through this? Okay. Well, he doesn't drown easily. That's for sure. Well, this makes perfect sense. <laughs> Can I not walk under here, really? Where'd he go? It has appeared. Ah, there he is. Can't swim under there. Because, <laughs> of course, not. Hello, where is he? <laughs> he keeps disappearing. Fine. I guess I need to walk around again. Yes, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I guess it's just a teeny tiny island. Because <laughs> he was walking along the coast the entire time. So, this is somehow an island. Well, a tiny island. Which still manages to have fresh water. And support several households in the Middle Ages. Pretty impressive. And I haven't even found much agricultural space. So. What's this? Three clothed bears? Your papa bear exclaim 
What a beautiful day to stroll through the forest. Right? Well... What a beautiful day to raid their kitchen. You're in the charming home of three bears. Mama Bear certainly does keep her house nice and cozy. Okay, nothing that way. Is the kitchen going to be upstairs? Nope, just the beds. A fairly small house. They even have like a shed next to it. All right, I'll enter. <laughs> Cut duck in this game, I think. No. Nope. All right. Not possible. Can I jump? No. So, he knows less than Graham. <laughs> There's a giant anchor because, I mean, what else would he store right outside your store? <laughs> Seems like it might be a fishing town, but I haven't really seen that many people, so I don't know if anyone's actually a fisherman. I mean, I guess maybe those two are? And what does the wizard do for a living anyways? And why can't I walk back to those three houses? So many questions. Yeah, I'm trying to walk to the houses. I am walking in the correct direction, but no luck. I should be walking right into that house. But nope. Can't reach it. Impossible. Does he have fish? Not that I can tell. Okay. The storekeeper asks, now what can I do for you? I guess I need to actually know what I want to buy. Store is full of general merchandise and supplies to meet the needs of the village. A friendly storekeeper bustles busily behind the counter. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what the game wants me to do. <laughs> oh, that straightforward? Because at this point, I don't know. I didn't really get much of a quest line apart from that, well, he wants to escape somehow. So I guess I'll try and get past Medusa and see what that gives me. I 
mean, maybe I can just walk through the desert. And I'm being robbed, because of course I am. Actually, I'll wait to see how much I've lost. After recovering from a whack on the head at the hands of the bandits, you stand unsteadily. Taking stock of your holdings, you discover that all of your possessions have been stolen. Yep. Absolutely nothing. Great. Well. What if I walk into our flower bed? Oh dear, you've annoyed Mama Bear by trampling her precious flowers. Is she going to eat me? Nope. Just knock me to the next screen. Oh, there's something. No. So. Apparently everything's fine. She just doesn't want me near her flowers, which I totally get. For some reason I expected to get eaten. The climb down was <laughs> rough, but I've managed. And Medusa is back. Darn it. Silly Medusa. How am I going to use the mirror on her? I can't really walk there backwards, can I? And the bandits. Great. So. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> That's what I found out using the mirror. But yeah. Um, the climb was frustrating, but... It it took me like a few minutes, maybe. <laughs> Not as bad as the beanstalk. The beanstalk was horrible. <laughs> but yeah, still not a fan of those segments. So no. Mer set up in a round oak frame with a long handle. You peer into it and see a rather dirty but handsome face. Great. Glad I know he's handsome. All right, so we've got... I'm not even facing her. <laughs> All right, so if I walk onto the screen and turn around immediately, then I could possibly Get out the mirror. You are too far away for her to see it. Fine. There. Yay! Averting your eyes, you aim the wizard's hand mirror at Medusa's face. Scream pierces the air as she beholds her own hideous reflection. Then nothing. You dared to look. Medusa's turned herself into stone. Well, she's kind of hidden now. <laughs> I kind of want to redo that and have her be visible afterwards. <laughs> At least now I know how to do it. But yeah, having her hidden behind a cactus just seems like a waste. Yeah, so far that was the easiest puzzle. I mean, I already had the mirror. Okay, and... Alright, so that's what she looks like.
even as a statue, Medusa is indescribably ugly. Oh, that's just great. So, yeah, the animations are definitely much better than in the previous games. I'm guessing he's going to die if I continue walking in the desert. But also, I mean, like, what is this place? <laughs> has an ocean desert basically right next to it for some reason that seems unlikely in coastal areas there's a bit too much rain for there to be desert this close i think but i mean what do i know <laughs> and well these games don't always make sense landscaping wise so <laughs> yep seems like the desert is endless different. I think this is different. Find yourself at the edge of a great desert, stretching as far as the eye can see. Right. So I somehow accidentally made it out of the desert. There. Lovely. <laughs> Pretty big desert. All right, then. <laughs> yep, endless. And the other direction, a lot less endless, <laughs> right? But yeah, I'd say since deserts are mainly very dry and um, have pretty extreme temperatures between night and day, they probably wouldn't be typical deserts if they're right next to the sea. Because our humidity, because of the ocean, and less extreme temperature differences because there's a giant body of water which stores quite a bit of energy well as in heat so it wouldn't get as cold at night all right so i don't know what killing medusa does How am I supposed to catch a lizard? Parched sands of the desert seem to reach forever westward. Yep, yep, they do. You know, there's a dried snake skin lying on the hot ground. Retrieve the dried snake skin from the hot desert sand. It is delicate and could easily crumble. Well, that worked. Oh. 
Okay, well, this looks interesting. Is that a ruin or something? You know, there's an unusual little cactus beside that large rock. Okay. Okay. He's probably not going to appreciate this, but all right. <laughs> no problem picking up a cactus. Good for him. And I have no clue if he's human or not, because his skin doesn't seem to be human. Either that or it's a non-prickly cactus, but it looked like a prickly cactus. So, I've now got a snakeskin and a cactus. Neither of which I know what to do with. I mean, what's this place? The hot, dry sand of the desert reached seemingly forever to the west. Is a parched land, right? Not sure if I'm going to walk in the desert forever on this side. I probably wouldn't. Okay, there's a bunch of lizards again. Still no clue how this place would make any sense. Because the coastline is not that extensive. And the desert is never ending. So how would that ever work? How many thugs are there in this place? All right, so. I don't know what I'm supposed to get at the store. And he also doesn't really have any money that I'm aware of. So I might have to pay for whatever I buy by trading it for something else I already have. And the wizard is back. Darn it. Okay. You'll create no magic around me, Gwen. Gwendon. Okay. Says the hateful wizard. <laughs> the hateful wizard growls as he takes the offending ingredient from you. Okay. Wait. And now he's zapping me, and I'm dead. What? I'm very confused. And now I have nothing. Well, I mean, he's dead, but like, I'm guessing it was the rose essence? Not sure how that would necessarily be magic ingredients, but. Alright, so I need to find the snakeskin and the cactus again. There. And heading down to the cactus. I 
plan. I mean, I don't know what kind of magic I'd try and create. But maybe I'm supposed to check in his study. There. So, saving. And I'll walk back up to the house and check the study. Well, either that or I'll just use a save. Like this one? No. This one? No. This one then. So I'll check the study and see if there's anything worth walking back up for. Okay. So an oak cabinet. I'll check the cabinet and then check the bookshelf and maybe the desk. You try and turn the handle but unfortunately the door is locked. All right so I'd need to find a key or get the wizard to unlock it somehow. The floor seems a bit strange. Maybe they just had to patch it for some reason. You don't- don't you remember? You emptied it yesterday. Okay. Fine. Mask desk is made from oak. The wizard does all of his reading, writing, and calculating here. For some reason, I didn't expect him to be much of a mathematician, but all right. Carefully examining the bookshelf, you notice a glint of metal behind one huge volume. You glance at the top at the titles of the books, but you do not see any that interest you. Wait, there's a glint of metal behind one large book. Fine. Okay, um... There, okay. You push the large book aside, revealing a metal lever attached to the back of the bookshelf. Yeah, there it is. A trapdoor opens, revealing steep stone steps leading into darkness. Thanks for follow. So... That's new. <laughs> Did not expect that to happen. I hope he's not down here right now. <laughs> Apparently not. Well, good for me. You look in all around this torchlit underground room. It appears to be a little a laboratory. A wizard's laboratory. Against the earthen walls, there are rows of shelves holding numerous jars which contain strange, unknown ingredients. The shelves also hold skeletons of small animals and birds, some human skulls and bones, and other odd instruments, who... whose use you do not know. 
Against the earth wall is a massive oak table with a spacious worktop. The narrow stone steps lead up to the wizard's study. All right. So. What does this book say? Covered with gold trimmings, the old book's leather cover is cracked and worn. Its pages are yellowed and brittle. The title, however, is clear. The Sorcery of Old. Eagerly thumb through page after page of what you assume to be magic formulas. The ink of the old handwriting is faint and barely readable. Most of the formulas are indecipherable, but a few are in a language you know. You treat the old book with great care, as you can tell it contains recipes for some very old and powerful magic spells. Your hands shake as you realise this book could be the key to your escape from the evil wizard. Alright. So... <laughs> what about any of the recipes? <laughs> What do I need? Tell me. Nope. Same. Okay. How am I ever going to find the recipe? <laughs> no. I guess it's just a work surface. Curiously gaze at the strange jars and ingredients, the animal and human bones, and other odd implements which line the rows of the shelves. The rows of shelves. You see jars of ingredients res resting on labelled shelves. Shelves bearing such ghastly names as powdered fishbone, nightshade juice, mandrake root powder, saffron, toad spittle. And toadstool powder. <laughs> yes, he does seem to have quite a few ingredients. <laughs> Curiously gaze at the ingredient at the strange jars of ingredients, and it's the same. All right. So apparently. He has two identical shelving units, which have these same exact ingredients. Are those giant bat wings on top of that, though? <laughs> it looks like giant bat wings on a pedestal. Or maybe dragon rings? Either way, they look very creepy indeed. Against the earth wall is a massive oak table with a spacious worktop. Top table, or a large leather room book, a mortar and pestle, a brazier, holding charcoal, and a flint. Plus measuring cups, speakers, flasks, and stirs. Okay. So basically a lab down here. But I still don't know the recipe. <laughs> How am I ever going to find ingredients if I don't know what the list of ingredients is going to be? <laughs> I mean, sure, but it doesn't look like they're identical. <laughs> the game manual, really no. I tried reading the book. Not being an experienced sorcerer, most spells in this book are too complicated for you to understand. Yeah. So, do I need to look up the game manual? I mean, I will if I have to.
Alright. So the game manual is incorrect. <laughs> That's just great. So... Pausing the game. <laughs> no, I'm not going to call the hotline. I'll see... Manual. Well, if it's even in there. I have one manual for all of the different King's Quest games. And the game-specific ones don't seem to... Um... Well, they don't seem to have included one. So... There. Understanding the language of creatures? Flying like an eagle or a fly? Teleportation? Um, causing deep sleep? Transforming another into a cat? Brewing a storm? Becoming invisible? And that seems to be it. So, I'm hoping the list they provided in the new manual would be correct. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe the wizard turned someone into a cat. Like, maybe that is the black cat. But yeah, um, let's see. I'll check the ingredients. So, understanding the language of creatures, I need a feather, which I have. Tuft of fur, which I might be able to get from the cat. Dried reptile skin, which I have. Uh... Powdered fish bone that's in the dungeon. I need dew, which I don't know where to get, and a magic wand, which I don't have. Well, so flying like an eagle, I need a tail feather from an eagle to become an eagle, or a pair of fly wings to become a fly. I need saffron, rose petal essence, and a magic wand, which I still don't have. For teleportation, it's salt, mistletoe, smooth stone of unusual color. Yes, huge coincidence, I already have them. <laughs> and I also need a magic wand for that one. So far I haven't found the, oh by the way, you'll accidentally also be producing a magic wand by doing this recipe, which doesn't require a magic wand to be completed. Three dried acorns, which I have. <laughs> Nightshade juice, which is on one of the shelves. Magic wand, still don't have that. An empty pouch, also don't have that. Mandrake root powder, I think he has that. Small ball cat hair. Well, there is a cat upstairs. Fish oil. Not sure he has that on the shelf, but the shop might have it. Magic wand. Cup of ocean water. Spoonful of mud. Oh, that's brewing up a storm. The previous one was transforming into a cat. So the one with the hairball. And fish oil and mandrake root powder. So for those of you who want to turn into a cat, just take note. And causing deep sleep was dried acorns, nightshade, and magic wand and pouch. And teleportation was salt, mistletoe, and stone. Alright, so where was I? Um there's still becoming invisible, which one jar of lard, a cactus. Two drops of toad spill, which he has, and magic wand. So I need to find a magic wand somewhere. Because otherwise, none of these spells are ever going to work. 
Oh well. <laughs> There's also what seems to be like a backstory to the game. Oh, that's great. So apparently uh, the wizard always kidnaps boys and has them for 17 years and kills them on their 18th birthday. So... That's great. I haven't read it all, but there's like one and a half pages of that stuff. But it seems like that's the reason he needs to escape, because otherwise he's going to get murdered. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> All right, time to try and find a magic wand, I guess. I don't see one. I mean, I don't think the game mentioned there being one down here. So maybe it's up somewhere else? Shoo. Leave. What? <laughs> I got jump scared. Uh oh, that darn cat really did it to you this time. Tripping over the cat, you fall to your death. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> ah. Right. Alright. So. Now I know. <laughs> Number one, don't trip over the cat. <laughs> Number two, I need a magic wand. And, well. And I also need to make sure not to get killed or robbed. But, that's kind of a given. Now they're just following me, really. Stop it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do all of those spells, or just some of them. But yeah, I'll need a magic wand. <laughs> Maybe the shop sells one. <laughs> I mean, what store does not have a magic wand? That would just be silly. All right, so I'm hoping I won't get killed this time. I'm guessing the wizard just pops up at random points in time. What can I do for you? Why wand? <laughs> you don't have any money. Darn it. Fine. Um I think I need all those. Maybe sell mirror? Nope, I can't sell things. I'll see if I can interact with the dog. The dog is lying on the floor. The dog lying on the floor is obviously a mutt. The name Kenny is embossed on his leather collar. Got some dusting to do, the shopkeeper says, turning around. Just let me know when you need something. Okay. I hope I'm not supposed to steal stuff.
doesn't really point out anything specific. I have not heard of that game. So, I mean, I haven't really interacted with anything or anyone in the tavern. So I guess I'll do that. Okay, great. So he always calls her over. Yeah, of course he does. Keep your shirts on, you ordinary buzzards. Hey, the barmaid yells. I'll be there quick enough. Without taking her eyes off the two men, she says, I'll be happy to take your order, but be quick about it, because those two are keeping me hopping. Okay. Well, I don't know what to order. <laughs> and I also don't have money. So... I'll need to find money. And I also don't remember any of the spells requiring alcohol. Hmm. Well, maybe one of the two guys has a magic wand somehow. <laughs> and the wizard is killing me again. Well. <laughs> Not very nice of him. <laughs> I mean, good point. <laughs> but yeah, where would I find a magic wand in this place? Am I just going to use a random stick? Because I haven't actually seen a stick on the ground, I think. Actually, is that something I should be interested in? Or is that just a shadow? There is a rushing stream flowing through the forest floor. Okay. Not? Maybe the spider knows where to find a magic wand. <laughs> Largest web you've ever seen. You can't help but wonder about the spider which can create such a web. I guess I didn't search everything in the house. I'll see if there's one under his pillow or something. Because he was very annoyed by me being in his room. But yeah, it doesn't seem like the magic wand would just be laying around somewhere. Time to get stuck on the staircase. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm in the wizard's room. Heavily, heavy velvet. Curtains drape the regal mahogany bed. Okay. Um. As comfortable as the bed looks, you have no interest in lying on the beautiful wizard's bed. Well, 
I wasn't trying to lay down on it. Is that a window? I think it might be one. The elegant dresser is made from mahogany. Straws are graced by beautiful gold knobs. Nothing about what that giant thing on top of it is. Alright, so where would he keep a wand? A beautiful rug adorns the floor. Its thick wool is woven into a colourful design. All right, yes, it's a beautiful house indeed. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know where he'd keep his wand. I mean, he might just have it with him. Oh, I found the fly. Pick up the dead fly and drop it into your hand. Disgustedly, you look at it. I don't want to carry around a dead fly, you think. Think taking off its wings, you throw the rest away. Alright. Well. I mean, it's almost like he's already read the manual to know what the spells are. The wizard has the brass telescope pointed out a window. It is well polished. He uses the telescope to keep tabs on the citizenry of the town. All right. I mean, the wand isn't going to be in that room. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, at least I know where to find the fly. I mean, so far the barmaid seems to be the only woman in this entire village. Unless you count uh, the bear. But yeah, not sure how they're doing population-wise. Might be a bit rough. I guess maybe it's in one of his coats. So, velvet ropes. Satin slippers, hats, linen gowns, okay. Search. Closet. You startled to discover an ancient parchment scroll. Its ink is faded, but it seems to be a map. Taking this treasure, you leave everything else exactly as it was. Nice, okay. Okay, so I've opened the um, secret trapdoor in the study. I found the fly and I found the map in the closet. Still need to keep track of all of that because I will have to redo it later. <laughs> I'll see if I can walk back up <laughs> and then do all of that. And that way you can actually keep the progress. No, 
not sure if those black spots over there are supposed to be rocks that I could pick up. The soft grass soothes your aching feet. Okay. Bits of no use. Fine. So, if it's something, I guess it's not a rock. But, wait a second, he said that the soft grass soothes his feet. So, is he barefoot? <laughs> if so, maybe he should wash his feet at some point. He looks like he's stepped in tar. Or maybe he needs new shoes. Because his sound like they're a bit worn out. Doing pretty well, but I don't want to jinx it. There. I made it without dying. All right, so. Getting the map. And I guess I won't open the secret door yet. Because odds are he's going to be upset with me if I open that. And I wouldn't want the wizard to be upset with me just yet. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't escaped yet. I'll check the drawer too. Okay, fine. I guess he already closed immediately. <laughs> no, I don't need harder bean stocks. I already had enough of them. <laughs> You'll create no magic around me. Dang it. And he killed me again. <sighs> Fine. What do you, would have been nice if he left him alone every now and again, but... Yeah, well... <laughs> guess that's too much to ask for. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's very stoked about getting that present early. <laughs> Fine. 
search closet. There. Clothes closet. Still slightly suspicious of that cat. It may be someone else. As in, maybe used to be a human. Nope. Nope. I'm dead again. Right. So, I think it was at 34 minutes? So, if I wait out here, is he going to appear outside? Because if so, I'll have to either go back to save before I pick that thing up, or get rid of it somehow. So, we'll see. Not sure what I'm going to do with the chickens. I don't think the recipes mention an egg. So, is he going to appear outside? Or does he only appear in certain spots? Because he appeared in the village twice. And on the staircase, well, in the hallway while I was going up the staircase. Okay, so it might not actually be time sensitive. And he's back. Right. Right. I'll see if I can put it back. Maybe it is time sensitive. <laughs> the question is, where would I put it? Do I just put it back in the drawer? I'm not sure which one it was in. I've been in this one. Yeah, he just closes it immediately. Nothing that interests you, and yeah, he closes it. So I'm not sure where I could store stuff. Yes, yes, I get it. I'm wondering if it's just the rose essence or if it's all the other ingredients too. Because <laughs> I've got quite a few ingredients at this point. And is there a way to hide from it? <laughs> Well, while 
rose petal essence has a delicate sweet aroma. Okay. Well, <laughs> doesn't really say anything about where I'd hide it. Would have been nice if he wasn't so insistent on killing him, but and well <laughs> they can't sell stuff at the store. So that's not gonna work. I don't know if there's a place where the wizard won't be able to go. What if I'm swimming? <laughs> he probably can't curse me while I'm swimming, right? I still don't know if there's any use to swimming, <laughs> but maybe there is going to be something. <laughs> so far it just seems silly. I'll see if I can get the net. Or the anchor. You've entered a quaint seaside town. Smoke curls lazily from the houses and shops overlooking the ocean. Well, houses and shops overlooking the ocean. A pier stretches out into the bay. Near the pier, you notice a stone, a store and a tavern. All right, so nothing about the giant fisher net. So what if I just try and pick it up? Is anyone going to mind? No, can't do that. Okay, pick up anchor. The old rusted anchor is much too heavy to move. So, I guess I don't need any of that stuff. But yeah, who's going to save me from that wizard? Why hide in the tavern? Nope, apparently I do not. Yep, yep. Alright. I was hoping he might not do that in front of other people. Since you're dead, all you can do is restart or start over. <laughs> all right. So back to the start. This time I have to be more time efficient. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks fairly clean. I don't know if it can be considered done at this point. <laughs> Probably not. 
Oh well. Yes, good thing I didn't overwrite that one. I don't know if I actually have to do this several times, but it does seem like he's leaving out most of the kitchen if I just do it once. And I don't think that that wizard would appreciate that. Also kind of wondering which one of the boys that the wizard kidnapped lost that drawer because I'm guessing they all get the same room. The kitchen shelf holds many ingredients and kitchen implements for cooking. One useful item that catches your eye is the clay bowl you use for all your mixing. Okay. Too far away. Oh, is that the bowl all the way on the top? Retrieve the clay bowl from the kitchen shelf and take it with you. Yep, it's all the way on the top. Not sure how you reach that, but good for him. You use the heavy oak table when you prepare food for the wizard. Right now, there's a loaf of bread, some fruit, and a mutton chop on the table. You take the loaf of bread and carry it with you. Take the fruit and carry it with you. You take the mutton chop and carry it with you. Great. So, I hope none of those are considered ingredients. <laughs> I'll just rob him blind. <laughs> Okay, fine. A large dining table is made of pine planking. Matching benches run its length on both sides. The table is big enough to see at least 10 people. There's a little metal cup on the table. Okay. Carry up. You, you pick up the little tin cup and carry it with you. There. All right. I'll check this shelf. Doesn't look interesting. Fine. Seems like this game is going to be more extensive. Because, <laughs> I mean, if I'm even just going to do half of all those spells, I'll need lots of ingredients. And I still need a wand. No clue where to get that. Maybe it's in the tiny cabinet over here? Yes, it might be. Nope, still locked. And I don't know where he'd keep a key for that sort of thing. I mean, my only guess is that it might unlock when the trapdoor unlocks. Other than that, I just need to search all his stuff to find a key, I guess. Can I store stuff in the dresser? No. What? 
you get on your hands and knees and quickly shove all your possessions under the bed. They will be safe from the wizard shop eyes there. Awesome. <laughs> nice. So I did find a way to trick him. Yep, carrying nothing again. Ha! I don't carry anything. I've decided to take a journey. All right, have fun. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. That means I can get the other stuff too. Right there. And close closet. And I've got the rose essence, and I'll go get the mirror. Okay, got all of them. Dropping to your hands and knees, you peer under the bed. There's absolutely nothing there. Well, it was worth a try. That's all the stuff I found in the house. So I'll go store all of that just so he doesn't use it as a reason to kill me later. I mean, he does seem very insistent on killing him. <laughs> So, got everything under the bed. Your processions are still safely hidden. Perfect. Now get out of here, cat. <laughs> Yeah, seems like I figured it out. So Time to do this fun part again. <laughs> nope, nope. Wrong buttons. So I'll overwrite this save. Actually, I should have taken the mirror along. Yeah. Oh well, maybe I can make it past Medusa without it. 
On the other hand, maybe not though. <laughs> I should probably get it. Well, I'll see if I can just have the mirror with me. Yes. It definitely is. Okay, and I've retrieved just the mirror. Perfect. I guess I need to actually remember all the items I have under there. Because <laughs> I don't know how to check all of the items. Or maybe i can like take them all into his inventory and then put them all back and check that way <laughs> i just think that sooner or later i'll lose track of them <laughs> all right <laughs> just got the mirror <laughs> So I'm going to overwrite that save again. <laughs> and beanstalk time. I know we get a bit quiet when doing these parts, but I do need to focus quite a bit. Don't want to have to redo it over and over. Okay. I should hopefully not be able to die if I fall down here. Because, I mean, that's practically not a fall at all. <laughs> Alright, so, what items do I collect over here? I got the acorns. I got the snake skin. And the cactus. Dang it! No! I didn't save! <laughs> Yes. I should have saved. <laughs> Fine. Redoing this part. <sighs> well, it was just the mirror, but I need that. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll learn. <laughs> nope. 
Lovely. <laughs> I might have to do a save in the middle. I mean, I've already proven I can do it in one go, but not twice in a row, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I could technically set my bot up to remind me, but odds are I'd just tune it out. And this time I'm going to save <laughs> and I'll do that right here. Perfect. No more beanstalk for now. <laughs> and I'm getting robbed. Lovely. But I don't care because I've got to save. But they're really intent on getting that mirror. <laughs> yep, as I said, really intent on getting that mirror. <laughs> so very, very obsessed with the mirror. Oh, come on! Really now? They're following me. It's not fair. All right, can I pick up my acorns now? <laughs> or am I going to get robbed again? <laughs> I keep getting robbed blind. All right, I've got them. There. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to rob me now. <laughs> Or at least I can reload. Ha. Huh. Right, Medusa. Um, use mirror. There. Bye bye, Medusa. So, now she's dealt with. Where was that dried up snake? Ah, there it is. All right, got that. I don't have the eagle feather yet. I'll still need to work on that one. Almost forgot about that. Might be a bit tricky to get that one again, but we'll see. Still quite impressed by him just going, okay, I'll pick up a cactus. <laughs> As someone who has repotted a cactus, it's not that easy. <laughs> At least not when you've got a prickly cactus. And they're robbing me again. It's just rude. Fine, I'll need to deal with Medusa again. Should have saved. Every time. Alright. Dang it. I looked at her. 
I shouldn't have. <laughs> with her again. So I'll go pick up my cactus, pick up my snake skin, and then save. There and snake skin. It's not here. Was it on the next screen? Yes. Nice. There and saving. So now they can rob me all they want. They'll always just have my items in my save game. All right. So, heading back to the waterfall and trying to get that eagle feather again. It's fine, I'm not going to go near your flowers. I'm leaving. Okay. Actually, I'll turn up the speed a bit. And of course, well, of course they're robbing me again, but I don't care. <laughs> I've got all my items. Yes, it's very fair. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these games, ever. They don't have no-win scenarios all the time. I mean, of course they don't. Why would they? Okay, so, where was that waterfall? Not here. So, is it this way? Yes, all right. Can't see the eagle. Can't see the eagle. Still no eagle. Where's that eagle? Eagle, come back here. <laughs> nope.
Still nothing. Seems like he decided to move somewhere else. There it is. Where's your feather? You're supposed to drop that thing. <laughs> That's a silly eagle. Yeah, I don't care about the bears. It's fine. Okay. Still nothing. I want my feather back. Give me my feather. Such a silly eagle. What would happen if I just stand here for a while? Oh, there it is. Nice. All right. Got it, finally. <laughs> Saving. There. I stepped on our flowers, but I hope she doesn't mind. What, happen what happens if I just open the door? Ah, nice. Scream. No, no, scram. Scram. Growls Papa Bear. We're not interested. Can't walk away. All right. Okay. So, I don't know what he's not interested in, but I'll just leave. Yeah. That's enough for today. Made quite a bit of progress. And who knows, maybe I'll figure out what spells I'm going to need to use next time. But so far, I'm not too sure. I think there's like seven spells or something. So there's quite a few items I may or may not need. And who knows, maybe there's, maybe there are different ways to do all of this. But yeah, I guess he's thinking I'm a security salesman. Yeah, good point. Well, we'll see. I mean, I might need to do all the different spells. I might not. And either way, I'll be streaming again on Thursday, but I do have a doctor's appointment before the stream. So <laughs> I might be late for that stream too, just a warning. But I am definitely planning on streaming on Thursday. I just may be a few minutes late, we'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!